Hello students, today we are going to discuss acylomate pattern, pseudocylomate pattern and silomate pattern which is lesson number 13. In the previous lesson number 12 we discussed the triploblastic organization of the animals. So first of all to understand the concept of acylomate, pseudocylomate or are, are, uh, silomates we should know what is a silome and what is a true silome in true sense. So first of all, we should uh, know the origin of the word, which is uh, taken from the Greek language koiloma, which means cavity. A cavity is a hollow space that is present in the uh, body of organism. It can be present anywhere in the body of organisms. So first characteristics is the it must be a hollow space. If we take the example of a human, we have hollow spaces in the body, just like thoracic cavity or ab abdominal pelvic cavity organs are suspended here or they are present here so these cavities are home to the different organs they are considered as true silom and an other main characteristics of a true silom is that it must be originated from the mesoderm it must be uh, originated from the mesodermal tissues so a fluid filled body cavity formed from the splitting of lateral mesoderm lateral plate mesoderm during embryonic development is known as a silom. So what is a true silom? We already discussed a true silom must be completely mesodermal in origin. So how the organs are present here? We have another diagram you can see here organs are present in these siloms are how they are sus suspended here. We have another example of a true silom which is present in the earthworms. A true silom you can see after the body wall of the earthworm. Uh, is present this space is known as a silom a true silom and the organs are uh, suspended in this silom and this uh, silom is a fluid field completely fluid field to, to provide the hydrostatic skeleton uh, uh, to this earthworm to make the hydro uh, to the structure of hydrostatic skeleton so now we have the concept of a silom now we are able to discuss what is the, uh, what are the patterns of tripl triploblastic organization Number first pattern is the acylomate pattern, pseudocylomate pattern, and silomate pattern. So we have to discuss the first pattern, the triploblastic acylomate pattern. Acylomate, the word is acylomate. By looking at the meaning of the word, we should or we can understand whole process, a uh, whole concept of triploblastic acylomate pattern. A mean without and kilos mean hollow which means hollow without hollow without a body cavity or without a silom so the organisms that are without a silom that are not made up of any body cavity between them or they don't have any hollow space in the body uh, between uh, after the uh, upper body wall so they are considered as as acylomates here we have the example as a diagram ectoderm is present mesoderm is present and endoderm is present which is, is the diagram of triploblastic organism but in the mesoderm you cannot find any empty space you cannot find any hollow space or you cannot find any body cavity they are they are densely compact cells so how we will define a acylomic body tissues derived from the mesoderm from form a solid mass of cells between ectoderm and endoderm without leaving a hollow space. It is known as acylom and the organism that follow the acylom pattern they are known as acylomates. So these cells that are densely compact are parenchyma cells. Densely packed cells are called parenchyma cells and they don't have a particular function they perform different functions. Now we have the example of uh, acylomate organisms which is platyhelminthes. Platyhelminthes is the only, only phyla that uh, follow the acylomic pattern of organization, of triploblastic organization. We, have the, uh, we, ha we also have a diagram of acylomic uh, uh, platform that you can see here. Uh, ectoderm is present and then endoderm is present and in the middle mesoderm is present but without a body cavity or without a hollow space or without leaving a, a, a different spaces between it so they are densely packed cells which are known as parenchyma cells 
and uh, in the middle in the center you can see a, a hollow space that is a digestive cavity <coughs> next is the triploblastic silo, uh, pseudocoelomate patterns just like we uh, know the acoelomic pattern word acoelom word uh, meanings we are also going to discuss the pseudocoelom word meaning of the word or origin of the word so here so, uh, cds which is uh, uh, here pseudo you can see it is uh, uh, taken from the greek language cds which means false false mean um, it means false silom no uh, that is made up of uh, that is not made up of mesodermal inuri so the silom of pseudocoelomates is not derived from the mesodermal cells or the it is not completely derived from the mesodermal cells here we have a diagram in which you can see you can say it is made by the splitting of mesoderm and endoderm the space between mesoderm and endoderm splits and make a silom that is known as pseudocoelom that is not completely mesodermal in origin so here we have the definition a pseudocoelomate is an organism with body cavity that is not entirely derived from the mesoderm so if it is not entirely derived from the mesoderm it is not a true silom next no muscular or connective tissues are associated with the gut tract in the pseudocoelomate organisms no muscular connection or connective tissues are associated associated with the gut tract you can see gut tract is directly present here and no muscular uh, uh, tissues that are coming from the mesoderm is uh, going to attach with this endoderm so no mesodermal sheet covers the inner surface of the body wall no body wall sheet is present in this inner surface and third is and no membrane suspend organs in the body cavity it means that uh, organs are loosely present here and not attached by any other structure in this uh, in this uh, pseudocoelom now we have uh, the example of uh, pseudocoelom from this phyla only the nematoda follow the pseudocoelomate pattern of organization and now we have the example here this is ectoderm this is mesoderm and then the endoderm and this hollow space is the pseudocoelom and organs are present here in uh, uh, that are loosely attached to the surface of the endoderm and the mesoderm so next so next is the triploblastic coelomate pattern in the coelomate pattern coelomates are those animals which have a body cavity completely surrounded by the mesoderm or completely lined by the tissues der derived from the mesoderm as you can see here the body cavity that, uh, that is present in the coelomates is completely surround surrounded by the mesodermal cells because this blue is the ectodermal cells these are the mesodermal cells and in the inner side these are the endodermal cells so the body cavity that is present in the coelomate organisms is totally covered by the mesodermal cells so it is considered as a true coelom so but we also have some structures in the uh, true coelomic body that is first is peritoneum what is peritoneum peritoneum thin sheet line inner body wall body wall uh, body wall is the covering of the body and the inner lining of that body wall is known as peritoneum while the other side of the mes uh, mesodermal cavity or coelom ca coelomic cavity is known as serosa which lines the outside of the visceral organs all the organs are visible that are present in the thoracic cavity or abdominal cavity we have the examples of uh, coelomic uh, body patterns which is uh, uh, in which we include the mollusca annelida arthropoda echinodermata and chordata these are all the phylums that are included in the triploblastic coelomate coelomate patterns so if we look at the deep so if we look at the structure we can see organs are not loosely attached with the body or they are not attached with the uh, loosely attached with the body wall or they are not loosely present here they are uh, uh, attached by a suspension uh, this structure keep the org uh, this uh, organs at their place so this is the main feature of uh, coelomic body patterns thank you uh, and in the next lecture we will discuss the 
higher taxonomic level protostomes and deuterostomes. So wait for the next lecture. Thank you.